And I'll show you the disingenuousness of this happy, healthy vegan guy. He should be kicked off of YouTube because he's spreading stuff or information. And show everybody you're disingenuous and you're a sneak and you're a liar. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So first of all, I want to thank Plant Powered Runner 77 on Twitter for informing me about this person's video. As we'll see here, we have someone who is watching my weekly live streams and apparently I think he was trying to paste a comment or post a comment to me there and I think he did it after the live stream was done. We'll get to it later on. But anyway, he was upset about I never got back to him. And furthermore, he thinks he has a study that not only debunks what I've been saying about veganism, but debunks veganism entirely. So let's start off and see what he has to say. Ryan likes to do live streams where he invites people to come in and debunk veganism. So I thought I'd ask him a question and see and test his knowledge. Yes, please do. On my Friday live streams, I look forward to seeing anti-vegans try their best to bring a valid, logical argument against veganism. Or to see in fact if he's being a disingenuous. And I asked a question. I said, if the vegan lifestyle is so healthy, why are several vegan staples listed on the FDA poisonous plant database? Really, vegan staples? Because if you've been watching our show for any amount of time, you know I talk about vegan staples all the time. The types of foods that comprise like say like 60, 70 plus percent of our calories on a pretty much daily basis. Foods like grains, legumes, potatoes, bananas. These are my staples at least. So you're saying the foods that I'm eating, my staples, vegan staples as you call them, are poisonous foods? Let's see what these foods are. Swiss chard, lamb's quarter, poke, persane, rhubarb, spinach, and New Zealand spinach. So, so these are your vegan staples. I don't know how to break it to you, bro, but these are not vegan staples. I mean, you don't need to eat any of these foods to be vegan. I know many vegans that hate spinach and rhubarb and Swiss chard. And furthermore, these foods are not just like vegan foods. These are plants. And you know, most people who are not vegan eat spinach and other leafy greens like this as well. So it's kind of weird you pin these as vegan staples. Really, do you think that people who eat plant-based diets get like a, a significant portion of their calories from any of those foods you mentioned there I mean I mean just going through the happy healthy vegan cookbook starting the first recipe here um Tuscan kale pilaf doesn't have any of those foods it has kale but kale was safe on the list three bean veggie chili doesn't have any of that stuff uh, white bean and eggplant chili totally fine southwestern chowder doesn't have any of his poisonous foods um, the vegan gumbo I don't see any of the poisonous foods hmm Let's see, the corn chowder, I'm not finding it. So I'm just going through our book here, just proving to you. Tortilla soup, doesn't have it. These foods he's listing here as poisonous vegan staples, they're not vegan staples. I also did a study in about 1939, and this study still stands. Uh, okay, I'm just going to stop him here because he goes on for a few minutes trying to read through what the study shows. and I'll, I'll do it much more quickly for you. But I want to point out something too, talk, talk about being disingenuous. It, when he shows this list of, of the FDA poisonous foods database, and it makes it sound like these leafy greens are here on their own. Somehow the FDA has like determined that these foods are poisonous. No, the, these foods are only here on this page in conjunction with this 1939 study. These foods were listed and referred to in this 1939 study. So talk about, first of all, disingenuous. A study from 1939, and you're, you're saying this is the proof that veganism is null and void because there's some leafy greens that, that you might want to watch out for the oxalate content. Secondly, this study was done on rats. And let me just show you quickly what happened with the rats here. So basically rats who were not being fed spinach were all of a sudden fed a pretty significant amount of spinach and they had some health issues such a higher percentage of deaths among rats between the age of 21 and 90 days, reproduction not possible, bones low in calcium, and tooth structure disorganized and poorly calcified. Now I propose this question to Ryan and he refused to even acknowledge that the question was there. 
Well, that assumes a lot. That assumes that your question made it through, that I even saw it. I mean, I usually have like, you know, around maybe a hundred people on at any given time. So I, I say this all the time. If I don't answer your question, don't take it personally. What you should do is just ask it again, maybe copy and paste, paste it in maybe a minute or two later, be patient, or we can leave a super chat tip. Then for sure, I will see your question. But to accuse me of not paying attention to completely ignoring the question from an anti-vegan, are you kidding? I'm waiting for these, these questions on my Friday live streams. And I'll show you the disingenuousness of this happy, healthy vegan guy. He should be kicked off of YouTube because he's spreading stuff or information. He has no credentials and he knows absolutely nothing. Oh, really, bro? So you're telling me that you have appropriate credentials to be on YouTube and talk about health, credentials that I don't have. I suspect that he and I are exactly the same, that we are not credentialed health professionals. And I make no no pretense about this. I can tell you guys, I'm not a health expert. I'm plainly not a health expert. I don't have a degree in health. I don't have a certificate or training as a medical doctor or anything like that. What I do do is when I refer to expert opinion, I'm referring to expert opinion and I make it plainly clear. So if you hear me make a reference to a vegan diet, an appropriately planned vegan diet being nutritionally adequate, I'm just not making that up out of thin air. I'm actually referring to the official position paper of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, the largest group of health professionals in the United States, and this is their opinion. And it's not just based upon just sitting in an armchair and making stuff up. It's based upon reviewing the, the relevant scientific literature. There's over 100 studies they cite in the references section. So yes, I'm not a medical expert and I know that and when I do make health claims, they are based in evidence. Never asking any dietary questions, never answering, in fact, if the vegan diet is healthy. Yes, a vegan diet is healthy. I discussed that several times on Friday's live stream. I referred to the very paper, the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics position paper, several times that appropriately planned vegan diets are nutritionally adequate and healthy for people in all stages of life. So if you missed that part, that's not my fault. Never debunking the fact that I put up there that, uh, to, to uh, debunk the FDA's poison plant database and the abstract from 1939 nothing. Well, here I am now. You got my full attention here showing how your paper doesn't prove anything. Yeah, you found a study from 1939, a study done on rats that said that the oxalate content in spinach had some bad health effects on rats. And you say, this is your proof that vegan diets are invalid or something like that because of this study done on rats. And you base this on the assumption, which I showed is completely wrong, that these are staple vegan foods. And these are not staple vegan foods. You could be a perfectly healthy vegan and never have any of those foods that you listed in your 1939 study there. So I'm gonna show you something, watch this. So if you thought what this guy's been saying has been pretty out there and awful, you haven't seen anything yet. Now he's gonna to try to demonstrate, show some kind of live video proof how I delete comments instantly in my live streams. And this is just complete nuts, watch this. So here's what's really confusing. It sounds like he's mad that I'm not answering his question in the live stream. So instead he's typing down in the comments. Do you realize that's a whole different thing down there? The live stream is, was completely done for like a day by the time he started leaving the comment here. Just, just point that out there. He's still not giving up on those foods being vegan staples. Now watch. Now I want you to see what, what happens to this question he's incapable of answering or responding to, to debunk against veganism. You're watching it right here. Just pointing out there, he thinks he is debunking veganism with this 1939 study. So that's the place. Now here goes the comment. Now let's just wait a while. Watch what happens to that comment when the moderator goes in. Do, 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 do. Give it a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's refresh it. The comment has been taken down 
in less than 30 seconds. Now you just see me post a comment, refresh the page, and ha happy healthy fraud will take down more flavor of the vegan diet next. He will take down any question that actually does debunk veganism. OMG, where to start? First of all, your comment, your FDA database thing there from 1939 does not debunk veganism. Not Just get that straight. Second of all, you really think that I just live online like all the time. If you just leave a comment, I'm sitting there or I have one of our channel moderators sitting there within seconds of you posting it, we read it and delete it. We delete any comment that debunks or challenges veganism. Are you serious? You, you really think we don't have any lives? You just sit online waiting for weird comments like yours to delete. There's many good reasons why your comment is not showing up. I saw what you did there. You 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 hit your you hit enter, you tried to post the comment, you hit refresh and your comment was gone. My guess is you probably been blocked from our channel and we just don't block people randomly. You have to come to our channel and do something pretty mean and hateful. You probably left a, a mean hateful comment about me or veganism in general just something stupid so that's probably what happened to you there so don't blame or, or accuse us of like living online having no lives and deleting anti-vegan comments instantly because we are threatened by them that is just completely ludicrous you go and debunk that study because i'm going to post it in my reply to you and show everybody you're disingenuous and you're a sneak and you're a liar Really, if anyone's a sneak, disingenuous, and a liar, it's this guy saying that this study from 1939 on rats, oxalates, and spinach debunks veganism. First of all, veganism has nothing to do with spinach. It's a moral philosophy. It's a moral stance against exploiting and harming animals. So I don't know what spinach has to do with that, but I'll, I'll humor you here. Yeah, we're talking about, I'm sure you're talking about a vegan diet. And yeah, there's oxalates in spinach. And if you look at any credible source of information about spinach, you don't find people saying, hey, spinach is poisonous. Don't ever eat it. Or else it wouldn't be in pretty much every modern modern supermarket you can find in the civilized world. I mean, just look at sources online here. I mean, they state, like say here on WebMD, that it's all these health benefits of spinach. Yeah, and they do acknowledge the oxalate content in spinach and advise people with certain conditions like kidney stones to moderate the amount of spinach they eat. And this is pretty much the line that you hear from any credible science source on the subject. So yeah, if anyone's being disingenuous, is finding a 1939 study done on rats and saying spinach is poisonous never eat it that's what you're saying and also that veganism is debunked are i mean do you even logic bro i, I want to make a t-shirt huh? should i make it down below guys let me know comments should i make a t-shirt do you even logic bro because it's funny seeing all these guys i think they they're debunking veganism they think they have solid proof that i'm some kind of cheat and liar i just didn't see your comments so um if you want to come and chat about this bro just come to my live stream as, as i do every friday approximately 6 p.m to maybe 8 or 9 p.m just check your time zone at 6 p.m pacific standard time on fridays and if you've been blocked you might not be able to comment so don't blame that on me use another account create another account and come and discuss why you think this study debunks veganism because you're missing a few other facts to connect your logic here it doesn't make any sense so anyway guys let me know if you enjoy this video let me know what you think about this guy be kind to him as much as you can i know he's quite a character huh just to put it mildly so uh yeah and yeah make sure you subscribe to our channel and, and hit the notification bell to get notified for when we put out new content and do live streams guys so until next time guys let's remember to keep it happy healthy and vegan